I am currently working in Tecno Parque No Rio Negro. My study is called Fish Fun and it involves perfecting a model of fish for experimental and didactic use. To keep the fish alive, conditions will be measured with a multi-parameter. The multi-parameter is waterproof, resistant, and easy to use. It is the ideal portable solution for field measurements of lakes, rivers, and seas. In this study, I am using the multi-parameter to measure conditions in an 8-gallon tank. Thanks to the microprocessor based on multi-sensor probes, it is possible to measure all the parameters necessary to evaluate the water quality, such as the soft oxygen saturation percentage, conductivity, seawater specific gravity, and other parameters that ensure life in water, as well as pH and temperature. It is also possible to use a CM probe with different meters without the need to recalibrate the system. When the meter is off, connect the probe to the socket on the bottom of the meter by aligning the pins and pushing in the plug. To make sure there is a good connection, tighten the nut. Remove the cover and expose the sensors. The pH sensor features a glass membrane for pH readings. To avoid clogging problems and ensure a fast result, the pH bulb must be kept moist at any time. Store the electrode with a few drops of storage solution in the protective cap. Move the protective cap and rinse the pH sensor thoroughly with distilled water. This step must be done to neutralize the multi-parameter for accurate readings. Turn the multi-parameter on. Make sure that the readings on the screen are somewhat stable. Insert the sensors into a body of water. In this case, I am inserting the sensors into an aquarium tank. Leave the sensors in the water until the readings on the screen are stabilized. This can take seconds or minutes. In random order, the measurements of the multi-parameter include temperature, pH, MV of pH readings, redox measure, dissolved oxygen percentage saturation, dissolved oxygen concentration, electrical conductivity, actual conductivity, resistivity, total dissolved solids measure, salinity, specific gravity, atmospheric and atmospheric pressure. In my study, I will be focusing on temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, concentration, dissolved oxygen, percentage saturation, and salinity. These measurements are important because the fish needs to stay from the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius. A change of even 2 degrees Celsius can alter its behavior and even end its life. The pH needs to stay neutral. Anything from 7 to 8 is okay. Dissolved oxygen is very important and it has to be around six parts per million for the fish to stay alive. Salinity needs to stay relatively low, under 0.5%. Once again, rinse the sensors. Place the protective cap on the pH sensor. Make sure that the storage solution is covering the tip of the pH sensor. Then. Place the protective cover back onto all the sensors. Turn the meter off and disconnect the probe from the socket at the bottom of the meter. Then place the probe and the meter into their respective places in the case. The multi-parameter is used for measuring bodies of water. Anyone wishing to have a stable environment for their experimentation should use the multi-parameter. To use this device, you can visit your Negros Tecnoparque to find out more about the program and the machine.